is Gif Chansa. Uh, I'm the artistic director and the co-founder of Seca Zambia. Seca Zambia is a social enterprise, a circus that equips young people with educational support, circus training, and employment opportunity. So we, we're currently working with 80 kids. We're using the holistic approach all from Chivoria and we want to change the image of the compound and support its young people uh, to become change makers and change the, the society or the community. We've got the body, mind and soul and the body is where we meet kids and we do circus in the mind is where we do uh, school support. Uh, so we've got 16 young people that we are supporting with um, ex extra tutoring and paying the money for school fees. And the so is uh, life skills basically. Uh, and we have uh, a project known as Crowns for Condo. I was born in Chivodia, born and played in Chivodia. I went to Chinika Basic School and then I went to Kamala high school then i completed my high school in 2010 and uh, i was also doing uh, backflips and, and learning up and down we call it parkour and the community and and people would come from different places to come and compete with us uh, with our team and every time the, uh, you know mississi compound kanyama compound shibodia john Lang would come together and would be competing and there would be uh, loads of people watching us um, what we're doing like a soccer team one day there came someone that was so good from Congo and, and we lost and everybody was like uh, we thought you, you thought you were so cool you thought you were <laughs> Uh, you were so good, but look, you've lost now and then. But we didn't. We never stopped, and we continued doing that until one day we had like a huge fight uh, within our team, and everybody went in different direction. And um, my friends went, and they started. Uh, they joined acrobatics. Apparently, there was a group that went to China, and. And there was, uh, there was also another group that came from Tanzania, Mapande. The Mapande guys, so they were the first guys that maybe went to China and Africa and started acrobatics and came back and they were like traveling around Africa and they came into Zambia and then they met Mr. Kapotwe, uh, who, who was at that moment also found a lot in Chivodi, like would pass and I'd see Mr. Kapotwe. And one day he saw what we were doing and the other guys from uh, Mr. Kapotwe's group, uh, they called them African Dance Factory. So they were like a cultural group that would like dance and, and do theater, do uh, comedy and they were very famous by then. And so, you know, just looking at them I was like quality feeling, like shaking. And so, you know, also like the fight we had with my friends and then they went with, uh, they, they found Mr. Kapoto. Actually, I wasn't there. I was just somewhere else because um, the group wasn't together anymore. And so when they went to the acrobatics and they told them, you know, like, you know what you do, the backflips, there's acrobatics as well. And then they were like, what is the acrobatics? And they explained and they opened up their minds and they started doing acrobatics and then they said you know there's a cool guy let's go bring him and so I, one day uh, i think it was on saturday i think uh, like five people came to see me and then they were like we want you to join ac acrobatics and i was like what is acrobatics and then they're like you know it's like lifting your friend and going on shoulders and like it's so cool a lot of people come they even lied that you're going to make a lot of money. So I was like, oh, that's interesting. I want to come. And so I went there. And then the first day we did the 3i. Uh, they've been trying to do a 3i apparently. And they couldn't do it. And, and when I was there, we did it together. 
and and that time we sat down and looking at the sunset going down and we had someone mr plotasio was speaking to us saying you know what you do you can do a lot of things but you know i i never had any visual of, of any future or any in acrobatics i didn't see anything i was like I was like, this is not cool because my father also he he had he had like a small car at the house and so the car was always like running down like it had a problem with engine and every time would be like waking on the car and so I I thought maybe me I don't do these things we're doing I'm going to be an engineer I know what I want but also as time went by i kept doing acrobatics and i kept spending time with my friends and 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 saying i want to be this like i want to be an engineer while spending my time in acrobatics and then uh, through african dance factory um when we when we started together that's when we were just performing in the street like we didn't we didn't know and in 2006 we met bare feet an organization that works with young people that live on the street so we met the founder of Defit Adam McGuigan who came to us and he was like ah oh, this is nice what you're doing guys and we did like um a workshop with all these Europeans that came about maybe 7 or 6 and it was like oh so this can be you know can be something like oh look at all these weird people now that are coming you know like they're not Zambians and they love what we're doing Banya! Banya! Banya, 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 Banya! I made gift in 2003 and um, then I wasn't I wasn't with Seka Zambia and uh, I met these guys who are doing uh, acrobatics his name was Toto so he uh, introduced me to acrobatics and uh, I went there and I saw what they are doing the guys and I remember that me and Keith to are doing also similar thing and those guys were lacking uh manpower so that's how I came I went back to Keith and explain everything to him then he was like ah this uh, maybe they are, it's juju or something more magic then he was like ah okay let me go and see what you guys what you are saying so maybe if I I like it I can I can join. There was this group which was called uh, ADF. They they saw us uh, like training and doing some free summer so they were like, "Okay, you guys you can you, we can be like taking your performances in the community so that we are exposed." That's how we we started performing with the the dance group. We went to Mississ we performed we were performing also in uh, Uh, in schools and then in 2006 we met um, Adam Adam was the artistic director of Befit and the founder and so he had like he, has, he had studied drama and so he understood how to put like a production on stage like the way they, they do for Befit and so he immediately when he saw us he saw he thought maybe it can work with us because we've got the skill set and so um then we joined Befit and 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 we became an integral part ten founding members of acrobatics uh in Befit and 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 through Befit we traveled around the world like we went to uh, UK we went to South Africa we went to Zimbabwe we went in the Netherlands we went all these places and and you know during all those times we went out that's when i like a nice opportunity to see what other people are doing um and then in 2014 i went to study in china and like i, I saw a big circus like it's like it's like findeco building and that's like a circus and it's it's a, it's a company and I was like so this is a company of circus of what they do basically in the street in Zambia but here it's like a big company so you know I, I was just thinking but also I kept on saying I want to be an engineer 
but I wasn't doing any engineering at that time. I was just doing acrobatics and I was busy traveling and doing, learning all these things. So like, uh, I was doing just acrobatics in the street, but now I, I, I learned about circus, I learned about theater, I learned about drama, I learned, you know, all these statistics, disciplines that you can put, you can combine together. I, I came back here and then there was a time that the police invaded Chivodia and, uh, and, and uh, they wanted to clean it up uh, to take out people that were selling drugs. Whenever I was at school, whenever like I would say I'm from Chivodia and people would say, oh you're from Chivodia, you are the one that have weed, you are the one that is a criminal here. And every time they would come to me and say, give this a fact, you want to come? And so nobody thought we could do anything positive. And uh, also I remember times where, you know, you just meet different people, like you meet people from Kablonga uh, doing uh, black dancing and doing all these cool stuff. And, and you come, you stand in a second, then you're like, yeah, I'm from Chibodia. And then you realize nobody is interested in you. Nobody wants to be your friend and everybody's keeping their phones nicely because you can steal and so you know it struck me like it struck me so hard because you know i know that it's a tough compound and i know that it's a vulnerable compound i know that people are poor but what uh, what what people don't know is that people are also knowledgeable they are people that are innocent people that want to good do good like me i just want to make people smile, I want to meet all these different young people and bring them together and and, and do cool things that who motiv motivate them to do things in life. I was asking a lot of people, like, what can we do in Chibodia? You know, let's not do what the police do. Like, the police come here and, and beat people sometimes. And, you know, they're criminals, of course, but they're beaten and they're beaten in front of kids. And also kids become savages in the way because they've seen the brutality. And, you know, like, I've read quotes that said you can't, you know, hit, doesn't drive out hit or, you know, an eye for an eye is not what you need. You need, you need, you know, you need to do something differently if you want a different result and so uh, for me it was all confusing in my mind to like and then you know um i met someone from um zimbabwe and we were talking we were like um you know because i was in zimbabwe and, and, and apparently this is a compound like chivoli it's called mbale musica but when I was there, they put up different murals. So the first thing, first thing that came into my mind was like, maybe we can paint murals. Like we can paint murals and murals that says, no, we are not criminals. Murals that says, look, think about young people that are coming up. Murals that says like all these positive things that people don't see about Chivodia. And then he said, but you do circus. Why not circus? And then I was like, yes. Yes, and then all the dots that were in my head connected together. And then uh, I, in my mind, I was visioning this huge building in Chivodia that, uh, you know, ha have like a lot of kids training, doing circus, performances taking place, like, um, like a creative hub. And I said, yes, that's, that's what we should do. And he sent me like list like questions he said answer these questions and i answered those questions and 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 the question turned into a project and and then i met charlotte i was here four years ago in zambia just kind of on a random um thing i wanted to explore zambia and see what it was to work here i started working with barefeet theater which is a theater organization and there i met gift and he basically said one day, oh, I'm, I want to start a circus school in, um, in Chibolia. And then I said, oh, okay, that sounds cool. And he said, you want to help me like, write some stuff down? So we started developing the, the idea together. 
she helped me to put a concept note and and we had like everything that i had in mind was now on paper and i could see and it became free in the way because um like it was like putting me up and down and then i realized that you know i saw so much that i want to be an engineer maybe i'm not an engineer maybe maybe i'm an acrobat maybe this is who i am this is the you know look at my background i've just been doing this and every time i've been saying the other things and it has conf- it confused me in the way then i said gift you know what you're doing circus and so now it became an adventure like where you start googling looking around what is circus looking around what other people are doing and I learned about you know social circus, I learned about contemporary circus, traditional circus, I learned all these different uh, circuses and I was like, you know, there's nothing in Zambia. Actually, Seca Zambia is the first social circus uh, in Zambia. And then we were like, okay, maybe we can have a circus and a social circus because we want to engage young people from Chibodia to become change makers. But, also what was important is the you know the the, the experience i had uh, being on stage you know like the, beside all the humili- humiliation that i went through all the you know discrimination people forgot all about that when i was on stage like I, every time when i was performing people were clapping like people were coming to me were like taking pictures with me like saying that was really powerful and you know I realized that people forget about about all of these all the negative things when I'm doing something nice when I'm performing and and so I said we should use circus as a as a tool to work with young people because not for the people but for the young people themselves that we're working with because it's powerful when they're on stage and they're performing and people clap for them it builds your confidence it it's it builds your self-esteem you believe in yourself you know that you can you are the change maker you are the one to do what you want to do and and so this is why Seca Zambia is set up like that like body mind and so to be able to engage the human body and the mind and the soul and tell them that you can do whatever you want to do Hi, my name is Mary. I believe I can do what your man can do. <laughs> my happiest moment was the time that uh, I realized that the, the dream was coming through. Um, the first exchange we had, we had these kids from the US that came to uh, to Zambia, not to Kablonga, not to Kabwata, not to to all the cool places, no, but uh, actually in Chibodia. So the kids came and and we had. Uh, 20 kids from Chibodi at that time and, and we had seven counterparts that came from the US and, and you know the bonding was so powerful and we were playing games and you could see that the kids were just innocent like the kids were just kids and they were just curious and, and, and touching all the equipments that came from the US all the circus kids and and for me I, I, I sat I sat in the corner and I was looking, I was like, everything is coming together, everything is um, being connected now, like looking at the huge team that is in Seca Zambia, the, the Seca Zambia management, and looking at everyone, it's, they were running up and down like so fast, like so professional, and they come to me, they're like, okay, so, so we are doing this and this, and then we're like, Oh yeah, yes, we're doing that, and then it's that it seemed like things were changing from like a playground in Chibodia, but to now like being professional, and 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 then I realized that okay, now you have to be professional. 
you have to like act like a businessman uh, i think those were big moments when when you know you see that the dream is no longer a dream it's actually happening and, and you're doing it and and you need to realize that so you can you can be in the moment and and push things i think kids are hungry for information kids want to learn and the way we do it it's fun and engaging um and yeah kids are just they want to do new things and the way we are working with gift and amos and bernard we have a lot of our guys that are from the same community, so they're positive role models, people, the kids that we work with can relate to them. So it's um, it's easy to work with them, they're hungry, like they just come. Like it's not us to tell them, no, do this, do this, do this. They just want to uh, learn. I think the best experience of Circus Zambia so far for me has been seeing how we've grown and seeing how we influence the lives of those young people that we work with. Just on a day-to-day basis, you know, we started so randomly in the backyard of uh, Gibbs and Amos and Bernard's house and kids started coming and we started working with them and we grow as a family. So now we've moved, we have our own property, we're building a theater, we're doing all these things, but we're just, just the same people, the same group of people. But I can see how the young people that we work with, how they've grown, how they've grown more self-confident. For example, Arthur, one of the boys that is in our um, in our company, one of the young performers, he uh, he traveled for the first time out of Lusaka. Had never been out of Lusaka for a performance in Kitwe, and he, you know, from the money that we paid um, him for the work that he does, he bought a small camera to document all the things that he does because he's so excited to travel even within Osaka let alone those that have gone to the US or those that have gone to Japan um, but he's so excited about you know exploring through Circa Zambia so I think it's beautiful to see how they've grown in self-confidence how they're you know able to talk and express their feelings and just I mean also yeah go to school do their things but more the the this influence of having a family here in Circa Zambia that supports you and that's there for you, I think that's very special. I've got so many challenges uh, and so many different challenges now that that I'm, I'm trying to see how you know, you can come about these challenges. Like, for instance, many people say we play with kids and we say we don't. And, you know, you go into someone's office and you explain circus. And then they say, what is circus? Are you bringing animals here? And then you're like, no. And then you have, every time you meet someone, you have to start, you know, explaining as if that person is a baby, like as if they don't know anything and and you know also working with kids sometimes it's nice you've got 100 kids coming to you and you're doing stuff together sometimes some of them they don't understand what they're doing they don't understand that it's about them and sometimes they ask you when am i getting paid and so you're like looking at them and saying uh but it's a challenge of course because you 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 you're doing it for for it's not even for you you feel but everybody thinks it's for you uh, also uh, the other challenge people think you you just want to gain popularity like you you just seeking uh, attention so you can like people can notice you and all these things is they become like big challenges um, that like you know if you're not careful you can just stop 